Hey everyone, good morning. My name is Christine Javier, and today I'm gonna go over free code camps slasher flick. Essentially, here you're gonna return the remaining elements of an array after chopping off n elements from the head. So in this case, we have the array one, two, three. Uh, that's the first argument. And the second argument of how many is two. So you wanna chop off from the beginning one, two elements, and then result in just having the third in an array. Okay, so we'll get started on that. I'm just gonna copy this function here. All right. Now, essentially all I'm gonna use for the solution is just a splice. And the way you do that is you wanna declare a variable. I'm just gonna call this spliced. And this variable is gonna hold all the things that you're um, taking out. So we're gonna splice the array. And the way splice works is you want to start at the index that you want to start cutting at. And I want to start at the zero width because that's the head position. And then I'm just going to go as far as this argument here of how many, which is the argument two here. All right, how many? Cool, and here notice that we're returning r. Um, I'm just going to console.log this argument here and see what we return. One, two, three. I always do that, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, um, and notice now that by returning R, we are capturing that last element of the array that wasn't cut off. But notice if we were to get spliced, what would that look like? As you could imagine, it's two different arrays. You have the ones that you're cutting out in the variable you're setting the splice equal to, and whatever is remaining after that splice still remains with that original array variable. All right, and that should essentially be it. Let's see if it works out in FreeCodeCamp. And it does, cool. All right, hopefully that helped you out. A fairly simple solution. Um, yeah, and hopefully you're more comfortable to splice after watching this. Thank you.